So Penryn started some 28 years ago uh, when a group of founders came together with a vision of creating a, a centre of excellence uh, for education in, in the Lowfelt and Pumalanga. So the vision of Penryn was what appealed to me as a young 39, 40 year old uh, ambitious headmaster. I'd always had a, a desire to make a contribution to South Africa, to make a contribution in terms of teaching and learning. It was a Methodist school, so that appealed to my Christian understanding of, of what good schooling was about. Uh, it had a link to St. Stithians, which was important, sort of, because it was all uncertain. There was no school building, there was no school except for two classrooms. More than simply being an independent school or a private school that you'd get in, in some of the, the other centres, Penryn's primary focus was, was touching communities, predominantly underprivileged communities, um, and, uh, and making a difference, an educational difference in those communities. Upliftment, um, improving what teaching and learning is taking place in the communities, um, and doing it by being a model of best practice. Uh, the mission of Penryn from the onset was to reach out into the community. Um, so reaching out in the community is what we do through Penridge. In other words, Penridge is at the core of the reason to exist for Penridge. Yeah, I think it's quite profound. When I retired as, as a principal, I came back and eventually ran Penridge for a while um, because it takes the school beyond itself. And that concept of beacon, which is quite simply taking the school um, to share its best with others. Penreach has been, what do we know that we can share with you and what do you know that can help us? So what makes Penryn a special place? It's, it's, it's inclusive. Uh, and it's diverse. And so if you go to Penryn and you walk around the campus today, you'll see a great diversity of pupils. Penryn is definitely a leader in our community. And we are set apart because of our fantastic environment, our stunning, passionate teachers, and the caliber of children that we have at Penryn. Just the location is totally unique to anywhere else in, in Mpumalanga, in probably South Africa. But also from a sporting perspective, um, if you look at our double note starting sport, long play development starts with double note already and it goes all the way to matric. So I think that separates, it's huge, it's a huge separation from other schools. Or... Well, I can honestly say at Penryn College, we prepare our scholars to not only cope, but to succeed in an ever-changing world. And so not only in a South African context, but in a global context. And we, as I said, the world is changing and it's our responsibility to create different opportunities for our scholars to cope in that ever-changing world. But I think what, what's going to distinguish um, children in this, in this or, or, or prepare, prepare our, our scholars for, for the future that they're going to face is um, the ability to, to adapt, the ability to take the skills, the, the ability to think critically to be creative and to take those skills into an environment that is constantly changing. I think what makes Penryn scholars different is that they've come to a place, a school, that is more like a home from home for them and it's a place where they are loved and cared for no matter what. The future fit child needs to have a good EQ and the EQ puts them above the absolute brilliant academic who can't do anything else but study out of books. They need to be able to engage with other people and here we have the ideal opportunity with 10 different countries represented with so many different languages and such diversity and, and the need to actually learn to interact comfortably. So scholars who come to Penryn are exposed to being caring citizens. Um, citizens who know about the issues um, of our time, who are involved as citizens. And many of the scholars who've come through the system, others have become uh, SRC presidents, others have become uh, Rhodes scholars. One of the distinct things about Penryn scholars is actually uh, children, scholars who are rooted in the issues of our time, children who are great South African citizens, great Africans and great global citizens. 
I think academically, um, you know, Penryn has never had a, a failure in, in all of its matrix classes. And that's, that's, in itself, it's an incredible record. But over and above that, they've continued to lift the bar, both at the top end and the bottom end of pupils that matriculate and, and get access into, into university. I've really been inspired by what Penryn has been able to do, deliver quality output every year, those results. We're so proud of the school and the system and the, and the effort that people do in the classrooms, which ultimately is what, uh, what, the, the result, what influenced the results. Uh, from a very small age, right, right up into matric, uh, really inspired by, by what that does. And then I think the element that Penreach has added, certainly through an inspiration for myself, has been that real appreciation for what uh, early childhood development means to a child's you know, ability to adapt and to, and to cope, cope in life. What we always try and do is to be creative in coming up with new ideas to suit the changes and dynamic growth of, of the generations in front, before us and to offer them those sorts of things um, where one size doesn't fit all. And that's certainly what we're achieving at Penrith. I love working with the children. I love, in particular, I love the pastoral component, which is reaching out, caring um, for the young people, um, no matter where they are in their walk in life. Just being there for them, being a place where they, it's safe, where they can come, where they can seek advice, where they can um, share what's going on in their life, troubles, trials, tri tribulations, their faith journey, questions they may have about God and God, the existence of God and so on. Um, so it's, it's very diverse but I just really love working with the young people. I think that they're not only the future of tomorrow, they are the future of today. They are here with us today. and. and it's really important that we connect with them and provide a space for young people to be heard. When we started here nine years ago, um, it was almost a sense of a family away from home. We like the diversity at the school and we love the fact that it's a very Christian based school. They teach the kids and they also teach their parents to embrace and to respect the different cultures that we have. And to me that is very important because we come from different families, by the end of the day we meet as one here at school. I think there's a lot that makes Penryn special. Um, the teaching staff are amazing, they've got lots of experience um, and they really care about the children at the school. And it's probably the biggest thing that I've picked up since I've been at Penryn is just that caring attitude and making sure that everyone's an individual. If I was to win the lotto and somebody said you don't have to work another day in your life, uh, I think I would still come back to Penryn. Um, I absolutely love being here every day. Um, I get such joy in knowing that I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing what I love. And for me it's not, it's not a job, um, it's, it's my life. I think what makes us different being Penryn is we're a much smaller school than all the others, so we're always in the spotlight when it comes to a lot of things. You can't really hide behind your school, you always go be out there. Penryn is a, a new family that you become a part of. So not everyone comes from the same place. So Penryn accommodates all. So that's what makes Penryn so unique. I would say to parents that you know, Penryn is an amazing place to form a sense of community in your child. And I think that is so important, especially when you're going out into the working world and you've got to learn to work together and you've got to learn to have a sense of community when you're out there in the big world. Thank you.